Was your offspring planned or a mistake? Planned, sort of. Really? So I've never understood the human desire to procreate. That's probably a good thing. I mean, children, hideous little creatures, terrible, taxing burdens. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, I mean, yours is fine. I mean, you know, nothing to crow about, but nothing to be too embarrassed about either, so that's quite good, isn't it? Are you at all aware of how dickish you sound? No. Speaking of dicks, why was that ex-husband of yours pressuring you to close the case? No reason. Strange. Yes, you are. Did my father send you? Okay, detectives, I'll see you now. Thank you. Detectives? Dr. Martin, I'd like to ask you a few questions about Delilah. You're thinking about it, aren't you? What? It's, I wouldn't recommend it. I'm like walking heroin, very habit-forming. It never ends well. I'm sorry, do, do you two know each other? No, no, but I know that look. I don't know what you're talking about. Actually, it's interesting, because you don't look at me that way. What way? With carnal fascination. That's because it doesn't exist. No, you see, that's just it. With most women, it does. I tend to appeal to the dark, mischievous hearts in all of you, but... You, detective, you seem oddly immune to my charms. Referring to them as charms, I think, is a bit of a stretch. Truth be told, I find you repulsive, like on a chemical level. It's fascinating. Now, tell me, Linda. You say it's fascinating, and yet I can see that it disturbs you, doesn't it? Deeply. Dr. Martin, we know that um, <clears throat> Delilah was having a clandestine affair with a wealthy married man, so if you just tell us his name, we will be on our way. I'm sorry, I can't do that. Oh, she's one of the complex ones. Linda, darling, why don't you tell me, hmm? Well, I can't. <laughs> I want to, but I can't. <laughs> oh, you're the devil. <laughs> mm, correct. <laughs> now, come on, Dr. Martin, I know you want to. Oh, man, and it's really, really juicy, too. Oh, I bet it is. I know, I can't. What did you do to her? Did you roofie her? Oh, no, it's not her fault. She's just reacting to me. Just watch and learn, OK? <laughs> right, the answer is yes. We can take a trip to Pound Town if we must. But first, you're going to have to tell us, Linda, OK? Um... <laughs> OK. <laughs> it's Grey Cooper. Grey Cooper? Seriously? <sighs> that is juicy. Grey Cooper, the actor, the one who's married to Amanda... What's a job? Yeah, yeah. Oh, no, he's horrible. So square-jawed, so handsome, so vanilla. Oh, I'm really quite disappointed in Delilah. That's truly terrible taste in the opposite sex. Thank you very much, Dr. Martin. We'll be in touch. All right, we gotta go. Yes, of course, but I... I made a deal, so I'm gonna have to hold up my end of the bargain. You wouldn't mind waiting outside. Are you seriously talking about having sex with her right now? Well, it won't take long. I do yoga. Hot. Yoga. I'm freakishly flexible. Want to see? <gasps> wow! <sighs> really tried to keep that one in. Well, you tried. That's what matters. <sighs> uh, look, I'm really sorry, but I'm going to have to take a rain check. I will be back, okay? I certainly hope so. My word is my bond. 